Hi guys, this is Justin with Landscaping Entrepreneur. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, purchasing equipment versus hiring more people. So in any business, especially landscaping included, uh, your labor is going to be one of your biggest expenses. So it's pretty much always justifiable to purchase a more efficient piece of equipment instead of hiring more labor. Um, for example, a lot of people just getting into the business don't have the money to buy a commercial walk-behind mower or something like that that has a much larger larger deck that gets things done a lot quicker. So instead they purchase, you know, a push mower or something like that. Um, I have a friend who made this mistake. He didn't want to buy or spend the money on a commercial walk-behind mower, so instead he purchased three push mowers and hired three guys to do the work. Uh, this is the complete wrong way of thinking because those three guys you're going to be paying forever as long as they're doing the work with a push mower to do this work. Whereas if you had just purchased the right equipment to begin with, say one large deck walk behind commercial mower, you're only paying one guy for as long as that equipment lasts, you know, five years say. Um, it's a lot of money, say it's $8,000 to buy a large deck uh, walk behind mower, but even if you don't have the cash up front, which very well may be the case, it's very easy to get financing. And even once you add in the interest for this financing, it saves you so much money just getting the equipment to start out. Um, in the past, we've done compost top dressing. We just did a couple jobs here and there. And we'd use wheelbarrows and a shovel. And this is very labor intensive, definitely not efficient at all. Um, but we were just getting started in the program. This year, we purchased the compost top dresser, which ran us about six or seven thousand dollars. But now, we pay one guy to do the same work that three people would have done. So in the end, we're making a lot more money. So, long story short, you know, it always makes sense to get the bigger equipment that's going to get the job done faster. You don't want to buy equipment you're not going to use. But if you have equipment that's going to be heavily utilized, that's much more efficient. I would never think twice about purchasing it. So that's just the thought on the, uh, you know, the purchasing of equipment and saving money on labor. Um, just check out my other videos.